Guys, what is going on? Ben the Bane Davis here, and yes, we're on the road. You can see um, I'm out here in Atlantic City calling World Championship Sumo. <laughs> Bet you didn't know that. Unless you've seen me talk about it, then you're aware. I call sumo wrestling. And I wanted to do a brief video about Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler because obviously this fight has gone through so many different iterations and has now been canceled. It's now been moved back to an undetermined date. We don't have a specific calendar 24 hours that this fight is scheduled to take place on, which sucks that we're not getting on June 29th. And it sucks that they seemingly don't want to do it at the Sphere, which I believe is UFC 306, the August pay-per-view, maybe? I might not uh, have that complete correct knowledge off the top of my head, but let's say this fight happens, gang. Let's say that this fight goes down. Um, I want to discuss what we could expect to see. Now, Conor McGregor has not competed in a good chunk of time since his loss to Dustin Poirier at whatever event that was. And in my opinion, he didn't look that great in that fight. He was very flat footed. He's very flat. Didn't seem comfortable engaging on the feet. Didn't seem comfortable here. Didn't seem comfortable on the ground, right? So I just felt like every avenue for McGregor was poor. Now, Michael Chandler has similarly not competed since 2022. So it's been a couple of years for Chandler. And his last fight was, you guessed it, also against Dustin Poirier. And in that fight, he looked pretty okay. He looked pretty all right. It was Mike Chandler. It was explosive Mike. He was expending a lot of energy with these bursts and these attacks against the cage. His wrestling, which is very high action oriented. And then I don't think he gets the results that he wants. People tend to transition and scramble out. And it's like, well, I've just, I've just used all this cardio for what? You know what I mean? For what? I've just slammed you 18,000 miles an hour into the ground and you're back up and my work has been eliminated. That feels like Michael Chandler's grappling in a nutshell. But at the same time, I think that should be effective enough against Connor. Yes, I think that if Chandler wants to wrestle his way to victory, he can absolutely do that against Connor. If he wants to strike his way to victory, I think he can absolutely do that against Connor. I, I genuinely feel that Mike Chandler's better everywhere. And the other element of this is that he's been actually, you know, preparing for a fight. You've seen Chandler in camp. You've seen him hitting the bars and the burpees and everything else, right? He has not been celebrating on a yacht or doing X, oh, Y, and no, Z no, no. like Conor McGregor has. So when it comes to breaking down the fight, I ask people, what evidence do you see? Which again, I, I acknowledge is not reflective of 100% of things. Maybe Conor's just not putting out that much training and uh, sparring. That could be fair, but everything I've seen implies that Chandler's a little bit more prepped and a little bit better shape and has his eye on the ball a lot more than Connor does, which is why I'm predicting that if these two ever fight, which could potentially happen at UFC 306, seven, maybe they'll make up a pay-per-view, that's what I'm hearing. I anticipate that Michael Chandler will absolutely nuke Connor and it's gonna take a round or two and he'll finally get his big Connor payday. And that and that might be it because at that age, Mike Chandler is gonna be 36, 37, not young, not young at all. So we'll see. I mean, I hope that we get a good version of Mike after this layoff and wait. You know, I'd love for him to fight Oliveira again. I'd love to see either a Gaethje or a Poirier rematch. Those were fun fights. Those were good, fun fights. Even Gamrot, even Benoit St. Denis, even Dan Hooker maybe again, if Hooker can string together one more and, and be a bit of a conversation piece for the top five, uh, I'd be about it. But I just am a, a, a little bit frustrated that Chandler has dedicated the last two years waiting for this fight. And, and you know, and, and we could have gotten some good bangers, right? I think we're missing out on some bangers. And if you disagree with me, it's fine. You're entitled to your opinion, <laughs> I guess. But that's my take. If these two ever fight, Chandler sleeps in instantly and does whatever he wants to him. But let me know what you think. I would love to know. How does this fight go?